Hi folks, Basil Chapman here for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. The Dow's up 62 at 35,984. See, it's stuck in this little range between that 9 and the 14 period in the daily chart. It's just stuck here. Magnus turned down stochastics at 59%. Uh, on balance volumes pulled back sharply. Relative strength has turned back far sharply. There is some residual strength, and you can see that in the, in the overall market and the different uh, sectors. But the Dow just doesn't seem to be able to find its energy since it made its 36,565 uh, all-time high at the beginning of the week. And now we're looking at, uh, just make it simple, 36,270. 36, Above that, anytime next week says, hey, there's enough residual strength. Maybe you could even retest the highs, but that's the way we're looking at it now. Any close below 35,850 says, nah. This is a problem right now, and my thinking is that there's a bit of a problem. But look at the S&P. The S&P, the 500 stocks, um, acting a, a little bit better. Uh, they were acting better all week. <clears throat> In fact, they have pulled back from the high of 47.18.50 at peak D in the Chapman Wave on the daily. Pulled back, and now they're holding the nine-period moving average up 18 at 4,667. If they can start trading the 46... Uh, 87 or higher area sometime next week. That's good. Any pullback underneath 46, uh, 28 says, nah, you've got to be real careful. Uh, we're also looking at the, comp uh, the QQQ, NDX 100 trading vehicle. We're looking at it up uh, 2.63, nice bounce, 393 above the nine period moving average, but it's way below the 400.99 high that was made uh, last Friday, a week ago. So it needs to get to the 398 level to say, oh, I've got enough strength to try to tackle the highs. In the meantime, the IWM, the Russell 2000 small caps is trading down 16 cents. It's kind of stuck off its all time high. You're looking at gold. Gold right now is trading um, up. No, it's about unchanged in 1863, holding all of this week's really good gains. You're looking at the dollar. Now, this is really interesting. The dollar is holding quite nicely. It's down six ticks at 95.10, having made a recovery high. Uh, in, its, in a recovery high, in fact, in a yearly uh, recovery high, <clears throat> acting quite well. Crude oil has been stuck in a range, making lower highs and lower lows. And we'll see how that trades over the coming week. I didn't do anything today in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour on the TLT. We're watching it real closely. It's at 147, and we'll do a little bit more of uh, coming up on Monday. Stay tuned. You've got Larry Presavento. You've got Think or Swim, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien wraps it up. Have a wonderful weekend. See you on Monday. Basil Chapman signing. Thank you.